What's up guys? I hope you guys are doing well. So again guys, we at We by Cars in Cape Town in Richmond Park. Um, today, this video was requested by a few people actually. And I'm gonna post the video so you guys can see how many people requested this video. So guys, in this particular video, we have a budget under 100,000 Rand for, uh, for a bucket. Um, people actually requested for me to do a video on single care buckets, but in this video, I'm gonna include double care buckets as well. So, uh, my dad actually have also a single cab right here, utility. Uh, I also saw that over 90% of you guys that watch the videos are not subscribed. And also guys, really important, I really wanna thank you guys for the fact that we eat 5,000 subscribers, so that means a lot. Um, so, guys, um, like I said, if you want to be, you know, informed about cars that we buy cars have, I'm going to do other dealers as well in the near future, but I see that a lot of you guys are interested in the cars that we buy cars have. So, if you get any sort of valuable information from the video, guys, give it a like, and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, guys, and comment down below uh, what videos you guys want to see, because I actually read each and every comment, um, and I make a plan to make it happen. So stick around and let's see what buckies we buy cars have, guys. Guys, I almost forgot to mention there is a specific bucket I want to show you guys that was in my one of my previous videos, but a lot of you guys was interested in that bucket, um, and it's still available. So stick to the end, guys, and I will show you guys what bucket is. So I'm gonna start from the lowest. So here they have a 2014 Nissan Inc P200. This is a 1.6 liter single cab, and this bucket has a cost price of 53,000 Rand with 281,000 kilometers on the clock and as you guys can see the left fender of this bucket is quite damaged so as you guys can see right there um, and also damaged from the sun and also the lights are faded as well um, the, also the the right headlight is also faded so I don't know if this bucket was in an accident but as you guys can see right there, the tires are smooth, the wheels are scratched quite badly. So from my point of view guys, the paintwork of this bucket is um, quite bad. Um, and at least this bucket does have a tow bar right there and also a canopy because as you guys might know, canopies are really expensive if you buy it separately. Um, the tail lights from the Dicker report, they say that it's broken but I think it's it's these cracks right there um, also a few scratches but yeah this is the rear side and the canopy does have a few damage right there as well so you guys can see right there can't open the bucket guys as you guys can see the driver side door handle is broken and the bucket is locked also here's a dent on the driver side door so at least from the decor report guys this bucket does have excessive play on the steering rack so there is um, noise on the steering wheel um, and they say that all the tires are smooth so yeah guys this is number one so number two guys here they have a 2012 Chevrolet utility this is a 1.8 liter petrol it's also a single cab with a cost price of 62,000 Rand with 349,000 kilometers on the clock uh, the roof has been rusted as you guys can see but it has been touched up here's a crack on the windscreen beneath the sticker and the front lights are faded but the tires does have enough thread let's see how it looks from the side rear so this is how it looks from the side so the bumper does have um, a bit of damage right there and guys comment down below what they call these because this is definitely something that doesn't come out with these buckies so as you guys can see damage on the paint as well Let's see how it looks inside okay so the bucket is locked but this is a five speed manual and these buckies does come out with a 1.3 liter diesel uh 1.4 liter petrol and a 1.8 liter so this is the one that has the 1.8 liter the powerful engine that produces 68 kilowatts i believe and from the decor report guys the engine management light keeps on popping up and also there is something wrong with the brakes and shock absorbers so that is something that you want to look into if you are interested in buying this bucket 
So this is number two, guys. Another option here, they have a 2015 Nissan NP200. This is a 1.6 liter petrol. And it has a cost price of 67,000 Rand with 169,000 kilometers on the clock. And guys, um, I couldn't find this bucket on the website. So I don't know what the Decra report says. As you guys might notice, the right headlight has been faded from the sun. And if you look closely, guys, I don't know if you guys can see, but the this wheel sits more to the inside. So I don't know what happened there. So this bucket does have smash and grab on the windows as well as on the canopy. So this is how it looks from the side and the back. So the rear toilets has been tinted. So let's see how it looks inside okay so <laughs> this is something from the previous owner guys so he decided to make the interior red in black but this is how it looks inside you have a five seat manual gearbox your aircon power steering and one thing i don't like guys is the fact that this bucket doesn't have a rear window so if you have people sitting at the back then they can't speak to the people that sits in front so this is another option for you guys if you are looking for a bucky under a hundred thousand rand so number three guys here they have a 2010 Chevrolet utility this is a 1.4 liter petrol and this bucket does look really good guys it has a cost price of 68,000 rand with 322,000 kilometers on the clock and this bucky is currently on auction as well guys so the front lights are but faded right there which is quite normal and this bucket does have smash and grab windows right there and also on the canopy as well this is how it looks from the side and the rear And one thing from the Decra report, guys, this taillight is so loose. So, as guys can see right there, but that is something you can replace quite easily. So, guys can see the tires does have enough thread. So, you have your manual windows and mirrors this bucket does have a leather interior with your econ your power steering right here and one thing i do appreciate about this bucket guys is that it does have a rear window that you can open so from the decor report this bucket doesn't have any mechanical issues but there is excessive play on the left front wheel guys so yeah this is another solid option here they have a 2015 Chevrolet utility this is a 1.4 liter petrol it's a single cab and it has a cost price of 80,000 rand with 125,000 kilometers on the clock and it's starting to rain guys but from my point of view you can see that the wheels are really tiny but the tires does have enough thread and I definitely believe that this was a company vehicle uh this tire is flat as you guys can see right there um and you guys you do know how I mean how people drive company vehicles <laughs> so yeah um this is how the bucket looks from the side and the rear let's see how it looks inside okay so you have your manual windows mirrors and this bucket doesn't have a rear window and um no radio the radio has been taken out and you have your aircon your fast manual with your power seating so guys i couldn't find this bucket on the website at the time of this recording so i don't know what the decor report says but at least from my point of view this bucket does look in decent condition guys so this is another option
Or another option here they have a 2006 Mitsubishi Colt this is a 2.8 liter diesel and it's a 4x4 and this bucky has a cost price of 83,000 Rand with 228,000 kilometers on the clock and guys this bucky does look really mean so from my point of view um, I can definitely see that this bucky has been used for off-roading you know in extreme conditions so this bucket does have all terrain tires right there as you guys can see extreme limited edition um also on the step right there so this is a limited edition from the mitsubishi cult that so looks from the side and it is a four-wheel drive guys so I just want to show you guys how it looks from this side so let's see how it looks from the inside so the bucky is locked but as you guys can see right there you have your low range and high range um, gearboxes right there with your extreme limited decent seats so guys uh, from the decorator report this bucky does have an engine oil leak and there is oil leak from the gearboxes do want to say guys if you are followed by this bucky if you see this thing in your rear view mirror then you might want to call the flipping bow lease because this thing looks really mean so yeah this is another option guys several liter utility this is a 1.4 liter petrol um, also single cab and it has a cost price of 85,000 Rand with 150,000 kilometers on the clock and from my point of view guys uh, the buck is in pretty solid condition the tires have decent thread on so this is how it looks from the side so here's a really bad scratch here as you guys might notice and also definitely something bumped into this vehicle but that is something you can fix and what i also like about this buck is that it does have smash and grab windows on the canopy as well as the front um, windows so this is how it looks from the rear and the side and as you guys can see right there enough thread and I like the fact that this bucket has a canopy. You see how it looks inside. Okay, so here you have your manual windows and mirrors. As you guys can see, the bucket has a window that you can open. So it does have econ, your Bluetooth uh, radio, five speed manual, and your power steering. And what I like about this bucket, guys, is that it does have automatic headlights so when it gets dark the headlights will switch on automatically and from the decorative report this bucket does have an engine oil leak and there's something wrong with the reverse gear so yeah that is something that you might look into if you are interested in purchasing this vehicle guys so this is another option lastly here they have a 2007 mitsubishi triton this bucket has a 3.5 liter v6 engine and it has a cost price of 96,000 Rand with 277,000 kilometers on the clock. And as you guys can see, this bucket does have some nice wheels on. Check out the suspension right there. And this bucket does have a nice pool bar on. And as you guys can see, the paint has been damaged quite a bit, as well as the lights that are faded. So this bucket has been standing in the sun quite a lot. But this is a 4x4. And you do have a canopy as well. So this is how it looks from the side and the rear. Let's see how it looks inside. Okay guys, so I can't open the driver's side door. But let's see how it looks at the back so you do have electric windows leather seats and i don't know what this is it looks like a dvd type of thing and i'm gonna show you guys how it looks at the front from the other side 
okay so here you also have electric windows you have your low range and high range gearboxes and stuff and since this is a bucket guys everything is plastic um i don't know what that is but yeah um pretty solid bucket and if this thing was taken care of guys mechanically then the mileage isn't you know doesn't really matter so this is the last bucky of the day and i want to show you guys the last very last vehicle that i wanted to show you guys so this is the last bucky i want to show you guys i know a lot of you guys were interested in this bucky and i wasn't sure if the bucky was sold um because you know it was moved from the Brackenfell branch to this branch here in Richmond Park but yeah guys this bucket is still available uh, and at the time when I was making a video of this bucket it had a cost price of 45,000 Rand and as you guys can see this bucket does have an aftermarket exhaust tip and as you guys can see this bucket is really low to the ground because it does have coilovers in so yeah guys um you can catch this bucky on my previous video and i have all the details from this bucky guys so this is another option so guys um if you enjoyed the video you know give me a like and if you're new please subscribe guys because like i said 90 percent of you guys are not subscribed and once again thank you for the 5,000 subscribers you know and guys we are moving to 10k so come and join us guys and you know stay tuned for all the cars that you know we buy cars have like i said i'm gonna do more videos on other dealers as well so yeah um guys i'm gonna drive home with this bucky it's not for sale you no know? uh, but if you can give me a good offer then you know i might sell it um since you know this is a bucky video I'm just gonna do a review of this bucky okay guys so guys um yeah this is our from inside right there Rear window, five speed manual, aircon right there, power steering, and also, guys, I forgot to mention we have automatic lights and the radio is Bluetooth. And I just want to show you guys how it looks from the back once again. And um, this bucket has been serviced by Opel. Let's give you guys a rev, a rev quickly, something that I don't do quite often. <laughs> Just show you guys. So yeah. <laughs> I just need a cone filter guys, then this bucket sounds pretty solid in a power flow. Yeah, this is my dad's bucket guys. See you guys in the next video.